Welcome back, Rockstars, to another episode here in our Pokemon Violet Nuzlocke. Now, last time we took on the Bug Gym, and we came out on top with no more deaths than we have to add to our board. Thank, thank, thankfully, thankfully. I'm so happy about that. So, this is my plan for today. I want to get a couple encounters, and I also want to get making the way towards the next gym. I don't plan on getting to the gym right away. So, if we look at the map here, there's a couple different things that we can do. First of all, I'm going to skip the Area 4 encounter for South Providence, because we've learned that that's really high level, so either we're going to lose Pokemon to get one or we're not going to be able to use them because they're not going to listen to us so we're going to avoid that and what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to fly over here to los platos because the same area where we found Maradian and the uh inlet grotto should be able to get some encounters in there and i'm you know i'm kind of hoping for like a hound hour so i get a decent fire type and it's a dark typing as well so that would be a big bonus for us so that's what i'm really looking forward to hopefully that's kind of my go-to plan then we're going to make our way up to the the grass gym i'm pretty sure it's the next gym on the list technically so yeah that is the so-called plan so where are we currently and we need to get back to where we were so we need to head backwards because here's the bridge so yeah we got to follow this path yeah i know exactly where we are so this is just going to be real quick because uh, we don't have the yeah we do we, hopefully the basic jump is enough but i don't know if it is or not to get back into the inlet grotto i would think it is i would think so and if I could get up here, I'd like to collect these items, please. There we go. Cherry Berry and a Awakening. That's pretty decent. I'll take that. Oh, this Busel's here? I've never seen them actually spawn here this early on in the game. Usually, they're uh, a route to too farther in. But that's interesting. I didn't mean to battle this kid. But, hey, I guess we're going to battle this kid. I mean, it's going to be some crappy experience, I guess. But, hey, it, it will work for us. Because he's supposed to be one of the first trainers you fight. So, I don't I think he'd be more than level 5, if that and let's see yeah he's gonna be level five i mean it's gonna be all right experience i guess if it's just all going to Wooper mainly yeah he is level five Wooper's also already hurt so why don't we start off with the potion just to make sure we're healed i don't think they'll do a crap ton of damage but just because we're already low i mean 12 hp total isn't a lot so we really just don't want to deal with that just in general so let's go ahead and heal up and let's see how this goes yeah eight damage see this if we'd left at 12 hp that would have been a lot special attack that fell but what a not a big deal really at all let's go poison tail and let's go for it it's a physical attacker anyway so beautiful and wow that really didn't kill it i'm actually so shocked but okay whatever let's just go another poison tail that should be finished off the seemingly kids pokemon and then we can go get our encounters which we're here for oh and i gotta make sure we put our marif up front because he's gonna have thunder shock i mean uh thunder wave so paralysis is gonna be really big for catching new pokemon so that's gonna be really good and i'm expecting them to be low levels too because it's the inlet grotto so i'm not too worried about that so let's go ahead and put marip up front who's level 12 so i'm not worried about that either so let's just go ahead and let's continue over here here is the entrance again so let's go ahead yes a jump up here let's go ahead and get this and i'm assuming that we can find a way out of here you know i would just assume can we actually get out of here and maybe not actually we could just go through the bottom or something or can we just we can we we can fly from inside the cave so that doesn't matter at all let's look for so there are young goose oh, hound hour perfect that's exactly what i'm looking for but it's also tms and stuff and i want to check around to see if there's anything else Ooh, a dust ball that's gonna be super good uh, i'll save that for later in the game when it's a higher level that's more important phantom force Ooh, that could be a re that's really good okay oh no get up here there we go so i want to see if there's anything outside of young goose and hound hour in here mainly otherwise i don't think we're going to be getting anything but a hound hour which is completely fine by me it's something i want to look for but i want to double check to make sure there's not anything sneaky in here that might spawn a little rarer first what is this oh this is the top ah Ah, uh, South Providence Area 1, so I want to go back into the Inlet Grotto. So that's the other entrance here. It's good, good to know that, good to know that. Let's go ahead and, ooh, item. And I see Young Goose everywhere. I don't know if there's, it, there's Diglett. Diglett's all right. A ground type's not bad at all. Can't complain about it, but what else is there? I don't know. And I, I definitely want to pick up a fire type out of everything here because I know I'm going to need fire types to be very, very useful. And I'd like to have one, especially a dual typing so he's not super weak to any one weakness from a fire. Yeah, I don't see anything else. I So I think, yeah, let's just pick up the sound hour. It's going to be a good capture for us. So that's really sick. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy. I'm going to make sure I write that down. All right. Hound or or hound hour, however you want to say it, because I've heard it both ways, the right way and the your way. I've heard it both ways. And how do I avoid the attack? Really? Okay, that's fine. And he did three damage with Timber. I mean, he is level three with level 12, or four times his level. 
quadruple his level quite literally so i'm not too worried about it paralysis that makes it so much nicer now i can't i can't hit him at all but the paralysis will make it easier since we can't get him out of the green hp so that is the downside of being the higher levels but i mean it could be a lot worse overall but let's go with let's go with i don't want I don't want to use an Ultra Ball, and I want to save the Dust Ball. So that only leaves Pokeballs, which I'd rather at least have a Great Ball, but whatever. It's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and catch this thing. One. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Two, please. Three, and there we go. Let's go. Houndor was added. Now we got to think of a name for this guy. So we're going to name this after, I assume, he means Young Arts by his name. So we're going to go ahead and name this Arts. I say you say Arts or Arts. I, arts. I'm going to go with Arts. I'm going to make sure I say that right. So sorry if I get that wrong. But thank you for commenting. Make sure you guys do comment down below if you guys want priority of names as well if you guys want priority or save a slot for a specific pokemon or legendary go ahead and pick memberships up as well so boom there we go perfect as there we go let's go awesome okay so we've got that as well secured and perfect so what can we do from here we can just go ahead and fly away where's the closest place we can get to the next gym the grass gym's all the way over here so just going right back here is our best destination fly to this spot absolutely i was waiting for it to tell me no because i was in a cave but yay we don't have to worry about that so whoo that could have been worse not a big deal so let's go ahead and yay las platos welcome back okay so what is the best direction let's go ahead and is there any other encounters we're going to get along the way uh south area of providence five i don't think we can get to that area yet area one i mean we might be able to get to area five actually yeah that, that'd be a good place to go get that encounter then we can hit up area three encounter and then we'll have two more encounters before we take on the gym which would be sick plus our titan if we want a speed boost so that's actually really good for us so actually yeah because then we'll have just over a set of team if we don't lose anyone so that's the perfect spot for us to go so let's head this direction and get going it's just going to be a bit of a travels Okay, well, after looking for a round for a bit, there was no way to actually get into South Providence Area 5. You either need Double Chump or Wall Climb abilities from Meridian to actually be able to get into there. So, that's just not possible for us. Or maybe if we go from it from the backward side, but no matter what, we have to go through Area 3 first to be able to even have that possibility. So, we're going to head out to South Providence Area 3, get that encounter, maybe take on a Titan. I'm not exactly sure about that, depending on how long everything takes up and whatnot. And actually, I want to make sure we get everything. So, well, we're not technically technically in south providence area three yet are we uh i does it is this south providence area three? i hate that because it doesn't i don't remember giving me the title so i gotta double check that i need to double check through the loading zone it still didn't give me a title well this is definitely south providence area three like if i zoom out it, it's it's here it's here so we need to find an encounter over here now we know the most of the encounters for the part over here but i i don't know i see because i'd like to go for a cloth again just because i love that ability on that pokemon it's so good when you use it properly it's super op but at the same time it's it's a 50 50 chance as far as i know of so it could be really really difficult to get wait whoa, whoa, whoa. isn't that wait okay that's the terraform on the map yeah so that's a dragon terra pokemon yeah i i don't think that's a good good idea to take on we already have an electric type so shinx is definitely not what something we want to go for so we want to avoid that we could go for makahita a fighting type that's not that bad actually at all it would be a pretty decent pokemon there's a terra jigglypuff down there no thank you i do not want to deal with that 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 would be no fun not click is a good pokemon i still not actually say that name properly but it's not clicked for me that's how it sounds Ooh, gulpin you know classic poison type but i already have a ground poison type so i don't really need to worry about that Ooh, hidden, hidden item there we go and that's gonna be arvin calling about the titan i'm pretty sure so yep now that arvin's done talking we can actually continue looking for our encounter for our pokemon wait what was that that was a happening Ooh interesting not really intri intrigued into go into the happening route there's a cloth we could go for it i do like cloth a lot i really really do but at the same time i constantly use them and it's not worked out for me 
um, because the ability has just not been very good to me uh, in my Nuzlocke run. So, and it's just a 50-50 chance. Outside of that, there's more Young Goose. This could do. We could get. There's, ooh, I mean, a Grass type wouldn't be bad. We have Water, Electric, Fire, Flying. We already have a, I forgot we already have a Fire type, but there was nothing else better than the Inlet Grotto either, so at least it gives us diversity uh, somewhat, and we can always switch one of them out, and we'll have a backup Fire type worst comes to worst, because hopefully we'll have a collection of Pokemon instead of them all dying this time. So, I don't know what would be best for us a grass type i i you know i'm okay with skidoo so i think we go ahead and pick up skidoo and eventually get gogo for our south providence area 3 encounter what's your level again you should be lower because yeah you're area 3 not area 5 so I, i'm completely okay with this should be a really good encounter for us okay, let's go ahead and hit him with a thunder shock i, I should have thunder wave first but it's not a big deal vine whip he does outspeed us that did a lot of damage could you perhaps per analysis him anyways no you couldn't okay let's get something that's going to resist well i will I wish you were healed up more. Uh, wow. I'm not really in the best position here to be catching this thing. That's not a big deal, though. So let's go ahead and super potion up. We'll go back to just under full. Uh, can you use something just a little weaker, like tackle, to set me up so I can get the paralysis on you? Because once I can outspeed, I can play this a lot easier. Tail whip. That's bad. That's very, 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 very bad. Dropping our defense like that. We still need to do this. We can raise it again. Okay, he's dropped it twice through his actual tail whip. But if he should be slower when we use Thunder Wave, causing him to go second and we're not going to attack the reason we're not going to attack because it's ineffective at this point because he's dropped our defense twice we want to go ahead and raise our defense three stages with cotton spore especially especially because we know that he's going to keep doing this and he got paralysis which is good because he got the attack buff from his ability so that's good for us all right so let's go ahead and let's go tackle here and it should be way more effective than thundershot because he doesn't resist or not i mean we're only two levels lower but jeez holy crap and he's doing that again well He's a, we've already got the paralysis on him, right? So let's just switch out. And actually, while we can, let's go ahead and heal our Fletchling. Then we can come into Fletchling because it's an equal level to Mareep. And it quad resists our, go our Skidoo here because it's fire flying. So, hey, that's two pairs in a row as well. So I'll take that. Uh, I wish he could get paired again because that would be really nice for our Fletchling to come in here. But we should be fine. I'm not super stressed or worried about this. So for the most part, I should be good to be able to handle this. I don't think we should get one shot. I mean, he is weak to us technically okay so that did 10 damage so we can take another one especially if it's a crit as well so let's go ember and i don't know if we're a special physical attacker i don't remember at all actually for talon flame uh, i would say physical though because brave bird flame charge yeah he's definitely got to be a physical attack you know a lot of flying types are uh, and it makes sense too uh, not I, I say a lot but i guess in reality i don't actually know because i i used to select few of flying types kind of on repeat let's go with a peck here we might have to start using growl to get rid of his physical attack perfect peck did more damage than ember which makes sense because physical attack so defense was not lowered aha thank you very much leak seed does suck though uh, that hurts a lot how much hp do we have left please be at least 16 okay let's go with peck again he shouldn't die from this he should go into red hp not quite that's okay he's gonna get that leech seed back yes the paralysis so we don't even have to worry about him attacking us he's still gonna get health back from leech seed that's no matter what but now we can throw a pokeball at him and i don't have to worry about anything because he should still be in yellow i would think yeah okay boom pokeball let's go ahead and throw it you're paralyzed yellow hp we got this come on Come on, this is a Makuhita trying to fight me behind me. Come on, one, two, come on, come on, come on, three, and there we go. Let's go. Skidoo was caught. That's a great Pokemon to add to the team. Okay, Skidoo's nickname will be Masters from Masters Tribe. So thank you. And then let's go ahead and put this in here. So that's another one down for the count. So actually, I think we've built a very, very good team here overall. I mean, we have a little duplicate typing with fire, but outside of that, we're doing extremely well. But that should fill up our party as well. I'm pretty sure that's a full team of six now, and I'm okay with that. And we can get rid of Hound Hour or Fletching whenever we want. Probably Hound Hour for the specific point because I like the flying fire. It's a good dual typing to have. So, ooh, Makuhita, leave us alone right now. I'm not really interested right now in battling you. I need to get up here to get that item, and then I want to make sure we get our track point set for where we need to go next because we need that destination. Where are we? Okay, we could go for the Titan, which would give not much experience, but we could get a boost, which would be really nice. And then I, I still need to train everyone else before we get to the gym so everyone's equal level and they can be 16 now at least
least because I'm trying not to over level and I'm pretty sure they're all 16 so if we're on equal level with a full team we should be good so we're gonna go ahead and do we do yeah we, we definitely want to do the Titan because as, as annoying as they are and we don't have to do them they do help speed the game up a little bit because we can move faster and a high cloth maybe I'll pick you up in an area 5 encounter I'm not exactly sure though so and yeah I'm not gonna be using anyone here for the Titan Okay, Rockstar, so it's time to head to the Titan. Basically, we want the speed boost from Marauding because it's just going to help us speed up and everything, and it's just a smart move. Plus, you know, it's it's just a little bit of fun. I know it's technically a side story for a Nuzlocke because we don't have to do it to actually beat any of the gyms, but it's kind of just more fun. And I'd really, really like to have at least the speed and jumping ability because those are the two ones that actually make a difference in the game when trying to travel. Otherwise, the gliding one, I don't really care about. And the rock wall one is useful, but nah, I can get around it. I don't really need it for it. So we're going to chase this Titan off, go up here as always because he just big baby, runs away the first time. And then hopefully we shouldn't have too big troubles between Quaxley, Wooper and our new Skidoo, who we actually need to heal everyone up as well. So we have all these potions. Let's go ahead and get everyone that we can up to full health. We don't really need Fletchling, so I don't know if I'll heal him, but we can go ahead and heal up uh, Skidoo especially as well. Uh, do we have... Uh, yeah, we got Paley's heals down there as well, so that's perfect. So this Titan's going to be super, super easy with Skidoo being equal level-ish compared to everyone else. Now, we do have slight team imbalance with Houndor being a super low level. I think for the most part, though, everyone else is pretty equal level compared to the last run of the, the first two runs basically we have a much more balanced and equal level team of both levels typings everything so yeah the first two runs weren't the best and i i got too picky with what the pokemon i wanted it to be and so it really hurt me in the end but we are set for this so i'm not worried about this titan whatsoever and i'm gonna get through this pretty easily so this is gonna be super super exciting okay so big cloth the stony cliff titan take this Vine, wait, wait, is Vine Whip or Razor Leaf is more powerful and has a higher chance of critical hit? I, I, well, I can get rid of Vine Whip if we have Razor Leaf. That's good to know. And we have Leech Seed, which is sick. I love it. I mean, that didn't do too much to us. The, look at that damage. Beautiful. It's a third of his HP. Is that how would you call it? I would say that's a third of his HP. I mean, you can block me all you want. I don't plan on escaping. I can heal with Leech Seed and Potions plus one more hit, and you're going to run away like a big baby. There is his Anger Shell ability, though, so that does make him a lot stronger, but he also takes our, our attacks a lot more because it lowers his defense. I do love that ability on that Pokemon. Cloth is one of my top-rated Pokemon from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I can't wait to eventually be able to get Scarlet, too, but we're just going to have Violet for a while. Ooh, that did a little bit of extra damage, and the defense drops do not help that at all, but he's going to run away at this point. Bye-bye, little scary. You're not so scary, Titan, and all we've got to do is heal up. Plus, we've got Clash. Actually, so no big deal. I can't wait to actually get to use Wooper's new evolution though. That's super super exciting because obviously I know what he looks like, but I don't remember the name and I've never got to use him in battle. So that's gonna be a whole lot of fun. And here we go. Hi, Mr. Titan. We're gonna stand right here under you as we magically die from rocks but teleport behind you. So because that that's just what happens here. That's it's just it's just what happens. And he's gonna eat the herba mist and we are going to battle him now as long as arvin does the smart thing during the battle because when i did my first playthrough of this for my live series that's still currently going on by the way make sure you turn notifications on if you guys haven't already so you can get all notifications for live streams and when a video goes live but he was using ice shard for priority and not water gun for damage and but when i did the nuzlocke this second run i think through second because this is the third run he just straight up used water gun and it was so much more help and i i was like you're you're just stupid in my life series apparently and because he just priorities attack shelter because i'm obviously it's coded so watch i bet he attacked shelter twice here and yep there's once vice grip which doesn't even make sense because he's a rock type versus an ice type so it, it should just one shot him in reality with a rock type move we missed sleep sheet are you kidding me really i just wanted to get that set up okay we're gonna try that one more time here he's gonna use vice grip and he hit shelter again i called it let's go all right water gun let's go thank you for not using ice shard arvin and stop being stupid we got the leech seed up as well so Ooh, that's much much better having leech seed so i'm i'm happy about that 
we get a little bit of HP back in case he starts attacking us or Arvin goes down, and we can just not worry about healing ourselves. Instead, we can just focus on attacking. Plus, it's just extra chip damage. You can block us all you want. So I swear that happens every time. The block is just so we can prevent from switching, but if we start with a strong lead for typeness, it doesn't make a big difference whatsoever. So it's just an AI programming. It's the way it's supposed to battle. There's the anger shell, obviously. So he was already outspeeding us, though, so that doesn't make a big difference. And in reality, it's just going to help us because it's not going to be enough to damage us since we have the type resistance because he wasn't doing much before and our elite seed will counter that but his defense and special defense has dropped now so razor leaf is going to do even more damage and between the water gun and elite seed we should finish him off right here and win the next shot so it should be no big deal with this titan bye bye little titan he did get shelter done so i'm hoping razor leaf should be enough on its own though i mean it was pretty powerful before and let's see and beautiful knocked him out let's go it was a critical hit way to go that was my bullskin do. That's actually really fantastic. So I don't have to add any of my death counter as well because it, it shouldn't be that high. I'm better at Pokemon than that. And I'm actually really, really triggered that I let myself get my death counter that high. It should have been at like eight max. Ooh, a bunch of people want to move. Flail? No, thank you. I don't want to, I don't want to learn fail. And because of this game, we can learn it, relearn at any time. Arch learning smog though is actually sick and that's fantastic. So that's super super helpful and with this cutscene and it's just a whole bunch of Arvin stuff coming up And I think that's a great place to go ahead and end up the video So make sure you guys leave a like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys all the next time and peace peace rock stars